I'm going to show you how to cheese the Balteus fight in Armored Core 6. So this is the one at the end of Chapter 1. And I have a build for you that you'll have by the end of Chapter 1. So you don't have to beat Balteus to have this build. And if you have this build exactly like how I have it, then it's going to be as easy as it can possibly be in this game. You can basically cheese them. You just, you don't even have to, you'll see what I mean. You'll know what I mean when I show you. So for this build, if you don't have the money for it, you can go to replay mission and you can spam the destroy the tester AC mission. And this will be your fastest way to get comb. And then you can buy all the parts if you don't have them. Then once you have the parts, you'll need a VP20 as a generator. You'll need this FCS because it gives best medium range, close range assist. And then the legs, if you really want to cheese, you'll have these tank legs available to you. Just go ahead and put them on. It'll make it so easy. It gives you so much uh, health and armor. And then all these things, the uh, arms, the core, and the head, they are the tankiest ones you will have available to you by Balteus. I checked everything. You should have these parts by Balteus. And then the important things here are the weapons. So let's start with the right arm. The right arm has a plasma rifle because it does a ton of damage. Then the left arm has the laser blade because it does out of, you only have two melee weapons at this point in the game. You have the laser blade and the pulse blade and the laser blade not only is easier to hit, but it does way more damage to the pulse shield than the one that literally says it cancels pulse defenses. It's just a lie. This thing does not cancel pulse defense It's terrible, uh, but this one does. So the laser blades insane and you'll see why in this. And then on the back units, you just have laser cannon. And on the other one, you have laser cannon. And that is all that you're going to need. If you do that, suddenly this boss fight is going to be the easiest fight you'll ever encounter in this game, basically. It's going to feel like it compared to whatever you were doing before. By the way, if you don't feel like going through all the menus and stuff and putting all the parts together, you can actually go to AC Design, AC Data. And then in here, I can upload this real fast. So we have Baltius Cheese is what I named it. I'm going to upload that. And then it'll give this code. And what you can do is... You can take this share ID, which is going to be a pain in the ass to type in. But you take that, write that down or whatever on your phone or whatever, however. And then over on this tab, go to download. And then you can put it in right here and enter. And then it'll just have the build. So if, I don't know if you need all the parts before you do it or not, but it, it'll have the build. So you can do that if you want to just really quickly do it without a lot of thought. And then you'll have the build. So now let me show you why the build is the most broken thing ever for, for the first Balteus fight. So now let me show you just how easy this boss could be with this build. So you just go up to him, hit him with the melee swipe whenever you get close, if he lets you. It helps to dodge even with this build though, but you barely even have to. So you can just eat a ton of crap and just be totally fine. And you see how the, the sword is insane for um, just breaking that shield. And for staggering, I almost had to stagger with it right there. But the main thing is you just run at the boss. Like you literally can just run at the boss. And you see how the melee does insane damage and Insane, insane shield break so if you can ever just get close enough and get the moment for it then you can do that stun it and done that's how easy it is with this build now obviously the better you are at the game the more experience you have with game mechanics in general for this game the easier it's going to be but even with the minimum game mechanics and game knowledge it's still just crazy because you can just tank everything. Um, and if you dodge anything at all, then bonus points for you basically is how it works. So, but like right now, I'm literally just spamming all buttons when I was right there. I was just left clicking, right clicking, spamming my buttons as fast as I could, not even caring. It's crazy. Like, so if you want to cheese the boss, just use this build. Just run up, slash. Run up, punch, like run up, shoot your lasers. Just eat all the damage and don't even care. Like, even if you end up dying, even if you end up dying, um, you'll get it within a few tries. Like, no matter what, basically.
Like that. I mean, look at two times in a row. And I can tell you right now, neither time was I trying. I mean, like, I was trying. But neither time was I, like, seriously trying to just avoid damage, be tactical. You're like, if you're tactical and you actually take the fight seriously and you know all the mechanics, it's just going to be that much easier. But even with just brute forcing, just running at them and just spamming your buttons without even knowing what you're doing, you can just win the fight. Like, it's broken. And all these parts are available before the Balteus fight. So... I want to make this video because I've already beaten the game, done tons of stuff, and I wanted to come back and try to come back to each boss now and come up with, like, the perfect build at the time for each boss. And this is the first one I've done. This is the Balteus one. So hopefully it helped you out. Now you know a super good cheese build, a way to just cheese out the Balteus fight and win it almost every single time with almost no skill in Armored Core 6.